Happy Tuesday, Tabernacle family and friends, and to our youth and um, children who are watching this, and, uh, and those who are peeping in on us. This is our Tuesday night youth focused Bible study. My name is Minister Paul Montellis, and I serve as our youth ministry overseer and coordinator here at the Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church in Seattle, Washington. And so I'm just so excited just to be able to spend some time um, with you this evening, just um, presenting a youth-focused devotional Bible study for our TAB youth and children and their friends who may want to watch it and who they share it with. And so um, I'm, I'm so excited and, and for this opportunity just to share with you all and uh, thank you in advance for... <clears throat> Thank you in advance for this time just to uh, spend a little bit of time with you all just to talk about witnessing. So what we started talking about last week, what we were reintroducing last week, the topic of witnessing, what does it mean to be a witness and all that great stuff. Uh, listen, I want to also say thank you to all of the tab family members who have already started, who've either donated candy and or have donated um money for our tab youth candy drive uh i so appreciate it just a reminder this upcoming sunday october 22nd is our last sunday for the tab youth candy drive so we want to uh, give candy out on that last sunday of this month the 29th of the sunday before halloween again we as christians we don't celebrate halloween but we don't want our children and our youth to feel left out and then also we want to make sure that if they are getting candy that they're getting it from a safe place um, and that they know where this candy is coming from and so um, again thank you for the donations we received so far and thank you and and thank you in advance for what we'll get this month this upcoming Sunday remember this Sunday is the last day to make candy donations or to give uh, if you want to make uh, financial monetary donations Please um, find me after church, before, during, or after church. Um, and, I, and we thank and praise God for what you'll do. All right. Um, like I said, it's Tuesday, September 17th. It's a third Tuesday. We have five Tuesdays this month, but it's the third Tuesday of this month, which means we're halfway done with this month already, which is which is amazing to think about. Um, so let's hop into a word of prayer, and then we will um, we will continue on with our devotional topic and study on witnessing and what it means to be a witness. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, how we thank you, love you, honor you, and praise you just for this day, this moment, and this opportunity. God, we thank you for life, health, and strength. And we ask, oh God, as we prepare our hearts and our minds to engage in the topic of witnessing and being a witness for Christ, that God, that you would speak to our heart, speak to our fears, and God, that you would give us strength to be a better and stronger witness for you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right. So last week we read two portions of scriptures. I want to read those again so that we can keep them in front of us. I want to do a quick review of what we talked about last week. And we were very surface level last week. We just began defining what does it mean or what is it what what is witnessing? That's what we just started off with last week. We're just talking about what is witnessing. So today I hope to talk a little bit more about that and then also talk about why we witness. So those two portions of scripture that I had read last week was coming from 1 John chapter 1, verse 3. And, and it reads, and I'm reading this from the uh, New International Version. And it says, we proclaim to you what we have seen and heard so that you may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and his Son, Jesus Christ. And then our uh, devotional, or not, I'm sorry, our second scripture verse is Matthew 28, verses 19 through 20. And, and this is a fam famous passage. And so I'm sure, Tab, you've, you've heard this scripture, Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Again, also for the New International Version. And it says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the end of the to the very end of the age. So last week we um, opened up this conversation just defining what does it mean 
to witness. What is witnessing? And last week we shared that witnessing is telling other people what we have experienced, um, what we personally have experienced with our relationship with Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ. But it's not only, uh, and personally can go from what we've read in the Bible, um, those personal experiences that in the Bible that have sh that they have discussed, like what their life has looked like and looks like once they became to know Jesus, what the stories and testimonies that you may have of your other family and friend members who may have shared their story about how their life was before Christ and how their life has been since Christ has been in their life. Um, and then also from your own story. Remember our goal here that the, the youth ministry at Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church is to make sure that each youth hear that tab that that we that you know first and foremost that you know Christ and and know him. We talked about that and being in relationship with him. That you grow in Christ. Now once you met him, once you know him, once you started a relationship with him that you grow in that relationship. Remember, Peter instructs us to grow in the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And then number three, that you experience Christ in a way that is authentic to you. And so through worship and praise, through however you, through our uh, spiritual disciplines, which is our daily devotionals and reading of the Bible and daily prayer and meditation, of his word on his word. So that is what witnessing is, is telling other people. And I gave an example when I have friends or family members or folks that I know who um, never been to the South. I talked about um, how I share about my experience going to Waffle House and say like, this is something that you have to try if you go to the South because it's just like a staple. And that's the same thing that witnessing is. Witnessing is telling everyone that we've experienced the best thing, that we are in relationship with the best person that we have and we serve the one true God and we're in a relationship with them and, and it is the best thing that has happened to us and it's so good He's so good to us that we don't want you to be out. Um, and we don't want you to miss out on all of his goodness and all of his graciousness and all of his kindness. And witnessing is helping folks to realize that even though they have not yet committed their life to Christ, helping them see and realize how Christ has still been working in their life. It is God tells us that it, it is him in Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22 through 23, that he gives us brand new mercies each and every day that we've never seen before. Brand new every day. And that the scripture says that God reigns on the just and unjust. That those who've been justified, those who've been committed to our life to Christ, me and you, that the same way that he rules and reigns supremes and orchestrates and, and controls and, and do all this stuff in our lives, same thing in, in unbelievers' lives too. They haven't recognized it, or maybe they have recognized it and, and have been living in rebellion. That is what... Uh, you, do, you do know, and we've talked about this before, that is what sin is. Sin is open rebellion against God and his dictates and his decrees and his commands. God says, do this, you do something else. So even in spite of that, that God sustains us. Scripture says that God does not want any man to perish. And so he's giving folks time to repent. He's giving folks time 
to get it right. He's giving folks time to give their life over to him. It's um, second, second Peter chapter three, verse nine. And I'm gonna read from the, um, the, the English New International Version. Um, sorry, and it says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness. So some people say, man, there, there are a lot of people, especially in Peter's time when he wrote Second Peter chapter three, said, man, I thought the Lord would have came back by now. And it's like, is he is he not coming back? Is he not fulfilling the promise he made? And said, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, but he's being long suffering towards us. He's being patient towards us and giving us a chance to get right because God does not want anyone to perish. Now, remember, I, I've, I've said this before. I, God's not going to force himself on us. He gives us and all of us the chance to come in and in, in relationship with him. But again, he is long suffering that he's going to give you the time to get it right. Because again, he wants all of us. It says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, as some men count not fulfilling their promise, as some men count towards slowness, says the New American Standard Version, the New American Standard Bible. The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And so that's where you and I come in. So we talked about what is repentance. Well, not what is repentance. <laughs> we talked about, maybe we do talk about what is repentance, but we talked about what is witnessing. So that is witnessing. Sharing with other people about our relationship, our connection with Christ. Telling people that we have a relationship with someone who is beyond amazing. And that if you let him, he wants to have a relationship with you too. And you should let him and, ha and get connected with him and have a relationship. So that is what witnessing is. Witnessing is sharing with other people. It is letting folks know that we have come into this great, that we've been saved by grace, through faith. And the writer Hughes, not, not that we, sorry, not that Paul says this, we've been saved through grace um, by faith, um, by faith through grace. Um, and it is the gift of God that God has gifted us this grace of salvation it's nothing that we, you and I can boast about. It's nothing. And that's the, that's the thing about salvation. I was uh, reading my daily devotion a couple of weeks ago. And uh, it was by Charles Stanley, a great pastor in Atlanta who passed away earlier this year. And the devotional had mentioned that when you think about and when you hear about um, our salvation story, that oftentimes we focus on I. We say, I was, I was a sinner. I was doing X, Y, and Z. And I was, and then I gave my life to Christ. Which is all true. We were sinners. Um, Job says from from birth, <laughs> we, 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 from birth we, we came into this world as sinners. And that it is it is this sin nature that we won't get rid of until uh, for those who are saved until we go to see him but he says that um we are sinners but sometimes when we share charles stanley says that sometimes when we share about our salvation story we focus way too much on us when we should instead be focusing much more of our story and our salvation experience on the one who saves. That when we talk about 
this life change, this change in our life that we've experienced. That yes, we need to talk about our state where we was. Say, so I was a sinner, but God saved me. And the best news is, He can save you too. And the better news is, He wants to. And the best news of, of it all is that He can and He will. And He can do that right now. So I wanted to spend, because I didn't get a lot of time to talk about it last week. Didn't get a lot of time to expound about that last week. So I wanted to devote today's devotional focus to explain a little bit more what is witnessing. Give some scriptural emphasis. Next week, we will uh, talk about the why of witnessing. And, and we we see that. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 3, which is one of the reasons why I read that. But then also in Matthew 28, 19 through 20, we see the why of witnessing. So we talk about the what. What is witnessing? But why do we witness? And it's right there so very clear and plain in 1 John chapter 1, verse 3. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard. We witness for this reason so that you may have fellowship with us. That's why we witness so that other people. Oh, I can't wait. To, we'll talk. I'm so excited for next week so that we can talk more about that, that our fellowship. And, and it's not you just not having fellowship with us. When I say with us, it's not just with me and other believers. Yes, you have fellowship with all of us. But our fellowship, as John says in first John chapter one, verse three, our fellowship is with the father and his son, Jesus Christ. So we have what witnessing is. We understand what it is. Next week, we'll talk about why we witness. We'll begin. We're not going to talk about it all next week. We're going to begin um, talking about why we witness. Uh, let's have a moment of prayer, and then we will look forward to seeing you next week. Heavenly Father, we thank you, love you, honor you just for this day, this moment, this opportunity. Thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies that you show and bestow to, towards each and every day. We ask that you forgive us for each and every one of our sins and have mercy on us. Continue to con our head with wisdom and knowledge over the more. And God, we ask that you please continue to give us strength. God, thank you for this devotional message and discussion on witnessing. And now that we have a functional definition of witnessing, that we can continue and begin to understand why we should witness. Give us strength, leadership, guidance ever the more. We love you. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, Tab Youth family and friends, I'll see y'all next week so we can discuss the why of witnessing. Why do we witness um, and, the, and the benefits of witnessing? We'll talk about that as well. I hope you all have a great Tuesday evening. Talk to y'all soon. Peace.